Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I have three different sticker making methods for you guys, all using stuff that is very cheap, very easily accessible, or using things that you might already have at home. So for the first method, we are going to be using a Google Doc or Word Doc, whichever one you want to use. And I'm going to go up into Google and I'm going to type in aesthetic stickers. You can choose to search for them this way or you can find individual images of things that you would like to turn into stickers. So I'm going to scroll through these pictures and I'm going to find one that catches my eye. So for example, this one, and then I'm going to press it and I'm going to press copy image. And then I'm going to paste that right back into my Google Doc. And once you're done with this, you can go ahead and connect your computer to a printer and print out your images. If you do not have a printer, you can hand draw all of the pictures yourself. And then once you're done with that, you can cut out all of your images. Here is an example of some stickers I made by just drawing them using some markers. So it is totally doable if you don't have a printer and you want to draw your own images. They come out just as great and just as cute. Once all of your stickers are cut out, you are going to need some clear tape. I am using some heavy duty scotch packaging tape, but you can really use any tape that is clear. I am also taping down some parchment paper so that way I can peel my stickers off easier. So first I am placing the piece of tape sticky side down onto the parchment paper and then I am placing my sticker right on top of it facing upwards and then I am placing another piece of tape on top of the sticker sticky side down. Make sure the tape covers the entire sticker leaving some room of tape along the edges and also make sure to smooth out each and every one of your stickers to get rid of bubbles or any weird little lines. Once all your stickers are prepared and are on your parchment paper, you can go ahead and peel them up one by one and cut along the edges, leaving a one centimeter trim along the whole entire sticker. When you are done cutting your sticker, there should be a clear tape border all around it. This is what's going to keep the sticker together. So now all of your stickers are complete and you can choose to put them on whichever surface you'd like or give them away to your friends. For the second method, I'm going to be using this adhesive cork board that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So for this one, I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker liner pen and I am going to be just drawing out whichever stickers I want. So for example, this one is a carton of milk and the next one is going to be a little sun with a face on it. So really these stickers can be whatever you'd like. They're just going to have a different texture because they're going to be corkboard and I think that makes them a little bit more unique than just a regular basic sticker. So that is why I came up with this method. And then you're just going to cut it out and then you can easily peel off the backing because it is already an adhesive corkboard. Board. So yeah, that's basically all that is for this method. For method three, we are going to be using some sticker paper. So you can easily pick this up at any craft store or you can order it online from Amazon. Sticker paper is just regular paper that has an adhesive backing. So for this one, you can just draw any type of images you'd like. Here I'm using some markers, but you can use color pencils, pencils, anything you have to draw your images. And then you're just going to cut it out and then you can hand it to a friend and they can put it on their laptop or something. It's just as simple as that. It's already paper that is made to be turned into a sticker. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed all three of these easy DIYs. If you plan to do any of these three stickers, make sure to leave a like. Also leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!